<sighs> Waking up at Sandy McNabb. Hi, hi. As soon as I start talking, you gotta come right in front of the camera. Come here. Come here. Come on. This way. Good girl. Good girl. Well, one thing, like the first thing I noticed, different from waking up on my first camping trip last year, I was the first one up and I was up at like five because I was just so excited to be out with the van uh, and testing out the build and just starting to live what I thought was my van life. And it was. And here we are just about a year later. It's like quarter to nine and I'm enjoying sleeping in. Probably has something to do with the full-time job. <laughs> but I guess we should get up, eh? We should get up and enjoy stuff. You know? <laughs> All right, let's go. Enjoy the weather before the rain comes. This thing is really cool. Thank you, Kathy. And unlike a mutual friend of ours, this model's floor is permanent. So that's cool. I don't have to worry about them digging out. Not that I worry about her digging out. It would be this one and her tools. Squirrels ride by, Penny's on it. Penny's on it. Stuff. See, nature. How'd you sleep, Sadie? Good. Good. I slept like I normally do, right in the crack. <laughs> it's kind of fun to go back to the first camping trip. I was all on my own with jet boil, and I think I was French pressing my coffee then. Now this is an amalgamation of everything. Coffee cup from my brother's coffee shop. Coffee maker. Maker. Coffee maker from one of my awesome subscribers. Thank you very much, Leopard Girl. And now we got a pretty decent cup of coffee. Oh, and of course, with the 40 Creek whiskey from Lindsay. I guess if you permanently had this outside, like, but like, like are they supposed to put their beer there? In that pocket? <laughs> their magazines in this big red one? I don't know. So more on the other side? They haven't really met me. There's another pocket on this side. I do have copious amounts of cat treats. Oh, do you want to give them some treats? I'll eat out of your hand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We've got a few cat treats. <laughs> oh, which ones will they both eat for sure? Mmm. Dinner tonight. Henny will eat anything. See what I mean? I got a few treats. treats. There you go. Are you gonna, so you're going to share? You're going to share or what? <laughs> yeah, I'll share. Do I just get a little bit of that? Yeah, just unzip it. Just go. All the way? Yeah, well, I'll make it easy for yourself to get in, right? She's not going to jump out. Hi, kitten. Oh, like, oh, no. Stella's like, I'm trapped. I clearly can't. I'm safe. Or Stella, whatever. They, maybe they won't because they're all outside and twitchy. Twitchy. There we go. Yeah, good girl. He's a cute pin pen. Treats. It's like Minstone, you give her treats. She's interested, but then she's not. <laughs> Penny's like, oh, Penny's like score. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have them here. We were wondering like all last year what it would be like because they did not come on any of the camping trips last year because for all the camping trips I wasn't in the van full time yet. Now there's no choice. They're coming. <laughs> oh my god, if they were kitchens, I'd be like all over them. Camping cats. I go Penny's crazy like for food. <laughs> um, hey tubbers. <laughs> Everybody panicked. There was a couple snowflakes. We're like, get it up. <laughs> and then the sun came back out. It seems to be becoming a thing. Every time I go on a camping trip, I got to add something to Lucky. I'm okay with that. So what I'm going to do is I got my flashlight 
case, which I used to carry on my belt, um, but it broke. And instead of just fixing this and putting it back on my belt, I'm gonna mount it to the door. And there we go. Nice and simple. Get the flashlight. Boom. Accessories. Hi. You won't escape, eh? <laughs> oh, Stella. Bye bye. Thanks, Martin. <laughs> well, I will be completely honest with you. You'll be completely honest. Opposed to those times where I lie. Uh, um, if it stays like this, I think I might be happier. Why? It's not wet. Oh, yeah, that's it true. And then it melts. It just bounces and then it melts. better being out here with this than in the city. <laughs> she did it. Off we go. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Black Diamond, Alberta. What is she doing? We're out of the car. Where's Sadie? Same as above with Cajun spice. Yeah. Butterscotch milkshake. Oh my God, there's marshmallow. Oh, well, that changes everything. Maybe you can get two flavors. <gasps> butterscotch marshmallows. You can at Peter's, but I can here. That's true, that's true. Mm, milkshakes. 
Marshmallow butterscotch. Is it good? It tastes. Hmm. I got pineapple. Sorry. Mm. Root beer. As a follow up to sarsaparilla, which they're out of. I missed my straw. <laughs> that was an awesome place for sure. Food was delicious. 100%. Do recommend if you ever find yourself in Black Diamond, for sure. Okay, beer? Uh-huh. Beer. Make sure you crack a window for the child. All right, child, crack a window. Can't see her, she's tinted. <laughs> Hard Knox Brewery. We probably won't be that long. One of those, 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 and those. Bye-bye. say we're not gonna be that long. Yeah. You want to do a flight? Oh, we're flighting. Try this one. <laughs> Fix that post. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's pretty nice though. This is, this is, yeah, there we go outside. Well, maybe we get a new hat. What's the carrot sour like? Like, were you guys like this was a good bike choice or? <laughs> it's a very the look on her face <laughs> says mm, no. It yeah. <laughs> tastes like a bad diet. Is that what you said? Carrot is really strong. <laughs> Fair. Like she's meanwhile. She's like, it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Not after that face. <laughs> I don't like sours when they're tasty. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Ooh. If we wanted to, we could do the one in Turner Valley too. There's a brewery in Turner. I didn't think there was one. Hola, child. Hola. How are we? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Turner Valley is like seriously five minutes up the road from Black Diamond is actually on the way back to where we're camping. And yeah, Lindsay actually knew this already, but Far is German. Far Brewery, probably saying that wrong. Let's go see what they got. Oh, you don't have any Pilsner right now, eh? No, I know, it's so sad. All right, well, I'll see you in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they got them here. Yeah. Well, mm. to no, I understand, I understand. Okay. No, sorry guys, you don't understand. <laughs> no. We're very concerned as seating is quite limited right here. But there is an upstairs. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Oversee the brewery. Not that anything's happening on the weekend, because let's get serious. Case of the manliest one that you have. <laughs> Thanks, give it a nut. <laughs> Anything else for you? No, that is it. Right. Thank you. And the Ragnar won all those awards. Oh. 
<laughs> it's okay, first we need some rules. We got that messed up last year. So we're playing crib. For those that don't know, it's a game, well, our grandfather taught me how to play. You learn from your My dad, mother, your because mother. I couldn't add. So she decided this was the way to do it. As opposed to arithmetic or kumon, she got to play crib. Yeah, which is far more enjoyable. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, mom. So last year we did a crib tournament. I think it was seven games total. Mm -hmm. and, eight. Uh, was it eight? It was eight. Yeah, eight, okay. Uh, you try to get one in at every camping trip. Obviously, they didn't work at Kimbrook Island because sick and windy. Not that she had gas, it was just windy outside. But we need to decide that so it's going to be by points again, obviously, right? Because straight up so. winning games is just silly. Okay. I won by points, Lindsay won by games. So there could be two winners because we live in 2022 and hashtag sensitivity! Or. Or what? <laughs> we could do by how many games you win, but actually count the skunks as two, right? Instead of the points. Oh, I'll do it by points. Never mind. Game one, Sandy McNabb, she won the cut. Low card in the cut gets to go first. We'll probably do a video, maybe on the next trip or something, and actually do a whole like tutorial on crib because people have been asking for it. Lindsay can teach you, I'll watch. And edit the video. Oh boy. <laughs> Lucky's falling apart. Lucky's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, let's do Cheers this. Cheers to that. Cheers to that indeed, Kathy. Let's not open this up. Mm. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> oh my god. 14. 14. I don't know what I'm doing. Nine. I'm really okay now. 12. 14. Oh. <laughs> but see, I only had two points. But then that oh. came up. All right. There we go. Game one's done. I wouldn't have even gotten it. Come hither. I can't even. 15, 15, four. Oh no, I had it. I had it. Not so bad. Who's green? That would be you. You can commit that to memory. <laughs> you didn't notice it if you're just watching the time lapse, but there's a whole thing. 115 <laughs> points. Okay. Go 121. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Can we actually go by what's left? So you only get five? Yeah. And I get 121. How's that going to work? Oh, yeah. Nah. Unless, unless we go high and like, like if you go out, you're zero. We play golf. I think we should do golf. Okay. There's less math. Put it in the book. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put the whole thing in here. What whole thing? Destination. Oh, she's doing the whole thing. Kathy, you were right. <laughs> I bet you, Lindsay, you'll get more use out of that journal than I'll write. Willing it. Willing it. <laughs> yeah, she just was, <laughs> she cries. I'm like, what was that? Oh, right. Penny's in the pen. <laughs> Every now and then I hear a little. I can't do it. It's all not focusing because of the mesh. Hi, you want to go back in Lucky? The poo bucket's in there because I thought they would jump up on it for levels. They didn't. Stella complained immediately and she went back in the van before the game started. I'm gonna go inside. You getting chilly out here? Here you go, Tibbers. Hi, Stellies. You're gonna like your pen. You're gonna get used to it. Oh, good girls. <laughs> Tacos on the fire tonight. Mmm. This is the new wood? The old no, this wood. is the one we got from the town. Oh, well, it's not as smoky, or we just can't tell because it's light out. There's not as much wood on there. But it's also really thick. Right? You mean? I didn't even do that on purpose. We're Did not, it catch like, it? Did it catch it, or is it still on the fire? No, it's on this whole point of this. Yes. Sarah, <laughs> clearly need to stand back. <laughs> really going.
I want a GoPro. I don't know if I could say that they're doing better or not. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> Penny. Enjoy your time outside. It's going to be dark soon enough. You're, you're a safe distance away from the fire. <laughs> What's the matter? Excuse me. Do you not know where you guys are? Read the sign. <laughs> yeah, of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually going to start the evening with some baked brie. I totally forgot that Lindsay was making this. Mm. This is clearly the eat it all camping trip. <laughs> all right, good. Now that's where you stay. You've got your bed, Sadie, and, and your toilet. It's right there. Huh? And you've got some companionship, so nighty night. Bye-bye. Does <laughs> she like being picked up? No? Eh, she won't like hurt you. Okay, Sadie, put your head oh. right here. And look at me. The Brie is here. It has arrived. Let's give this a shot. I don't know where that camera was pointed. Trees. <laughs> While you're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> we enjoyed the delicious break. Lindsay's doing dishes in the woods, as you do. And it's time to start making some tacos because it's getting late. All right, let's come in here. Here we go. You also gotta salt your meat. Don't forget to salt your meat. This orange part does melt. Uh oh. Did you melt it? I melted this, I think, when it was bit. on the fire. I mean, it's not as bad as the coffee maker.
Concerned face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lindsay's got the right idea. We're gonna do a taco salad with the Doritos. Take care. Take care. Nice sweaters, ladies. If you don't have your Van Life Plus merch, find it on the Merce, Merce, the Merce store. Ah. The Merce store. The obviously. Merch store in the link. Well, in the. I, I'm done. You want a hoodie? Click the link in the bottom of this, whatever. He's tired. <laughs> That's true. <sure. laughs> and Sunday morning. At the end of the, well, technically second camping trip, but really the first one, because this, nobody got sick. We made it to the end. <laughs> Even though Lindsay and I both might have wanted to have gotten sick last night. <clears throat> anyway, Sandy McNabb, this was, um, this is a great spot. I will absolutely come back here. Lindsay also said that already. Like, it's such a nice spot. It's like just under an hour away from Calgary. You get out of the city, you don't have to drive very far. And like, hello. That's pretty cool. And we went on a nice, big, long walk yesterday and just, just through the campgrounds, through the trails that sort of cut through the different loops and whatnot. And yeah, we got to talking and... She asked me something, God, how did she phrase it? Something about how does it feel to be camping now that you've been in the van full time? And I hadn't given it much thought, but it, it's completely different. When I think back to the very first camping trip from last year at Beaver Mines and every following camping trip after that even, I was in the middle of building the van and had a very strong focus on bettering my life right because i was in that was the beginning of all of this right i was trying to teach myself that i could be happy with my life if i took my life back into my own hands right started living for me stopped living for what others expected of me or what i thought others expected of me and all of that stuff i'm not going to get too wildly off topic here but this year camping none of that is there i've been in the van for well, I've been doing the YouTube channel for over a year and I've been in the van since October full time. It's my home now. So now these camping trips are exactly what they should be. It's a chance to get out and relax and actually just enjoy being out here. And it's different, even though Sadie made a comment yesterday, you're camping all the time, right? And she's not wrong. But you still got to get away from the Walmart parking lot every once in a while. And it's still different and it feels so good to be out here doing this. I'm super excited for this camping season to begin. I just woke up, put on my flannel. I even have another layer on because it's it's not even the middle of May yet. So it's still quite chilly out here. And I was just having a thought as I was walking the garbage to the garbage bin this morning. It's going to get hot. <laughs> I was remembering back to our camping trip from Little Bow last year when things were just so crazy. These birds are nuts. And now the woodpecker's going. <laughs> There's only like two camping trips from last year that are going to be repeated this year. And not counting Sanctuary, of course, which is actually where we will be going next over the May long weekend. So, I don't know. There's just so much to look forward to. This was a perfect way to actually kick off camping season 2022. 100%. Kimbrook Island was just a... Uh, a, a trial run, test run, dry run, 
was anything dry about the way that trip ended. Yuck. I offloaded the footage for this trip that I've shot already, and I have far too much, as I usually do. So I'm going to end this video here. Maybe it'll be two videos. I don't know. But thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, you guys, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive, and I will see you all in the next one.